I'm going to show you in this video some small sample clips of Papa G and his message. Some might be in the video, some might be at the end of the video, and I'm also going to put a link to his videos in the description down below. And if you're serious about your enlightenment, definitely watch his videos. And a surprise at the end, you will see someone actually become awakened during one of his sessions. It's amazing, it's beautiful, it's awesome, it's doable, and it can be you. Okay, so I got some great support from my video that I made the other day. I want to thank you all very much. That means a lot to me. Um, and by the way, hello, if you're new to my channel, my name is Chris, and welcome. Enlightenment. Everybody searches for it, and they look for it, and they go crazy for it, and they travel, and they spend money, and they do all these crazy classes, read all these books, and do all these things. But at the end of the day, you're really just trying to find yourself. And once you do find yourself, and you understand who you are, you know thyself, then you'll be happy, but you also may be disappointed. A lot of people think that enlightenment solves all of your problems. That everything in the world that you've ever had to deal with, all your issues, all your stresses, all of that, it all can be gone if you could just grasp that enlightenment. And a lot of people, I think, are in this fantasy or in this illusion that, you know, if they just get that enlightenment, everything, all problems, everything is all gone. No, not really don't want you to fool yourself. Enlightenment does not solve all your issues. It does not make everything in your life perfect. You realize you still have to deal with the world. You still have your problems and your issues. That was another reason why I made that video the other day. I see a lot of spiritual gurus and teachers here on YouTube and every one of their videos they're smiling and life is nothing but roses and sunshine and Everything's just so great and grand. Enlightenment doesn't make everything roses and sunshine. But what it can do is it can help you distinguish between the mind and the self. You learn that the mind is not you. Therefore, you quit allowing the mind to control you, to control your life and your day, because you're able to shut the mind off. You're able to separate the I from the mind. And know the difference. You know that you are the world. You know that you are everyone. That you're an extension of them. And that everything is connected. What you need to do is sit in silence. You find yourself in the silence. You are looking for you. What would you need to find yourself? Would you need a plane to get to yourself? Would you need a train? A car? A boat? How far do you have to travel to get to you? Where do you have to go? So once you realize you, there is nowhere to go, there is no lesson to be learned, there is no knowledge to be gained, then you will find yourself. Don't follow the mind where it leads you. Reverse the mind. Go back to the source of each thought as it comes up. Enlightenment is like when you're asleep. In, in the moments where not even the sun can come in. I'm not talking about dreams or anything like that. I'm talking about when you're dead asleep. You have no recollection of time, worries, stress, fears, none of that. That is enlightenment. Once you become awakened or enlightened, then you will be able to be in that state consciously. And you'll have none of those other issues going on up here. That's the bliss. That's the awesomeness. That's, that's the weight off your shoulders. But life, the world, stress issues pressures responsibilities all these things you still have to deal with them you'll be able to deal with them on a much more conscious level enlightenment is where you realize that you are the world and you're everyone and everyone is you you understand that nothing outside of you exists and could exist if it weren't for your conscious awareness of it the old gurus from india the very wise ones, these are the ones that I look to for advice. Not some of the new people, not that they don't have good knowledge to offer, I do listen to them. But the old gurus from India have some of the best knowledge you could ever ask for. I appreciate all the support, I love you all, videos will keep coming, and I look forward to getting myself better 
as well as to continue to bring you some great videos. So thank you all. I love you with every beat of my heart. Have a great day. Namaste. Keep quiet. Don't be surprised because you have come from all parts of the world for satsang in Lucknow and I tell you keep quiet. <laughs> <laughs> so to keep quiet is to apprise you of the fact that you are always quiet. And you have come here to know about this, that to keep quiet, peace and love <coughs> is your nature. And this is satsang. So happiness is to transcend this past, present and future and that you have never been told. Therefore, don't touch time and space. This is the projection of your real nature. You have projected time. Tell me if you have not. You have projected space. You have projected this universe and you have projected this sun and moon and stars. Is it not your projection? When you wake up, then only you see this universe and your friends and also when you dream, you see the same thing. What you are seeing in the waking state, so in the dream state. When you sleep, where is the time? Where is the space? Where are the relations? Not even the sun enters into your sleep. Maybe midday you may be sleeping, there is no world, no sun, no moon, no day, no night. Only you project. And who projects is what happens? The next waking state, the first instant of the next waking state, who is projecting all this? Your mind. What is mind? Thought. What is thought? I. What is I? Now, investigate. I'm speaking of quietness. Papaji, I do not have any question. Let me just sit with you and show it to me. Who is this? Hmm? Hmm? It's me. Come here. Come here. What do you want? Hmm? What do you want? You want to sit, so you sat. Yeah. <laughs> what next? What next? Hmm? I want to see me. Hmm? I want to see me. I want to see me. Bliss? No, I don't know what. Me. It me. Me. The end. How to see it? I don't know. You do not know. Where is me? Where it is? Anything that you want to wear? Where? 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 Yeah. Okay, right. That's the place. Go there. Go inside then. If it is inside, go inside. If it is outside, go outside. Now you say inside. Now go inside. Hmm? Have you gone or no?
No. <laughs> then where are you? Here, on eh? the Where are you then? How many miles away from inside? How many miles away from inside? You say, I have not gone. You want a plane, train, <laughs> car, ship? What do you want to go inside? You want a flight? Then go by voyage, by surface, or by road, or by track. These are the four ways that you can go from one place to another. Now to go to inside, what do you prefer? Hmm? You can't go like that. Eh? You cannot go like that. You don't need a ship, no? No. Neither car, no. nor train, no. nor airplane. No. So, why? Why? Because, hmm? because no distance. No distance, okay. No distance, don't move now. No distance yourself, don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Do not stir a thought because it is movement. Do not activate your mind because it is movement. Don't move. <clears throat> Let your mind not move. Let your intellect <clears throat> to not move for one second and tell me where you are instantly, just now. Here. Speak up. Here. Here. Well done. Very good. Stay here. Stay here. This is bliss, happiness, <laughs> freedom enlightenment, hmm? all that you can see. Nice, I think. <laughs> sit here. Come on, sit here. Come sit down. Just sit down. Sit down. Sit down. What? Thank <laughs> you. 